Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to the Real Divine Abundance reading for the month of June. So I was really excited to do this reading, um, especially after the last reading that was posted. So it's actually super sized. So we're going to be tapping into six decks. It's really important that we're now using the Divine Power deck. Um, they kept saying it's uh, a lot we're being helped with. It, a lot is within our own Divine Power to make things more abundant and abundance in all forms, right? So that's that is a big added deck that we're adding. Uh, we're going to be tapping into the sacred wealth code. So these are the qualities that we have to create more abundance that we all have already. But what they want to bring to our attention, particularly in the month of June, that we can utilize to maximize our abundance. We're going to tap into the angels of abundance for messages. We're going to tap into our divine power. So these are 88 cards about our divine power, what we should be reminded to use our divine power for, what it's being used for. We're going to tap into real divine abundance. This is the real divine abundance deck. These are all spirit messages uh, pertaining to our abundance, what they want to bring to our minds and hearts for the month of June. We're going to end it with divine spirit messages for our divine spirit. And of course, pure love from spirit, loved ones passed on our spirit guides, pure love from spirit, which I feel like this all is. So if my voice is scratchy, I'm not sick. It's just allergies are off the charts. So my voice, I get affected by allergies. Um, you can see that, you know, uh, across videos sometimes. Um, so let's tap into the secret wealth codes for the month of June that they want to bring us to our attention to keep in mind to maximize real divine abundance in all forms for the month of June. So June was all about us creating and there was so much divine love and support. You can actually feel like you're getting help with what you're trying to create. And uh, yeah, I mean, just if you didn't see the Akashic Records reading, it's kind of why I'm doing this reading and tapping into six decks. There was so much that we are doing. Talk about our divine power for what we're creating and manifesting. And you're receiving a lot of divine love and support inside and out to do that. Um, even if you want to throw your hands up, there's something else that's helping you. So let's tap into the sacred wealth codes for the month of June. That would be the most helpful. Ooh, right in my hands, the teacher, the teacher. Look at us all communicating and helping each other to know is to grow. So you could be really for, see how green it is for everybody to grow um, and to expand right now that we're all, I, I'm just getting a lot of communication through this card, loving communication and, and passing along knowledge because to know is to grow. And you know what they were giving me yesterday, the other day, you know, when you go higher, the higher you go, the more connected we are, right? It, that's why you always hear the terms, we are one. It's almost like we move in one body. Um, but the higher you go, the more connected we are. And so to freely pass on knowledge and everything, um, it actually spurs on growth for everyone, right? So it's not being so um, holding back restrictive. If you have knowledge, if you've helpful guidance, um, you could really feel inspired to pass things on. Um, and it's for our growth, our abundance as one. Um, so they're encouraging us to know is to grow. So this is the teacher, this is Jupiter. And the qualities to have is to be knowledgeable, intelligent, growth-oriented, trustable, understanding, communicative. Yeah, I was really picking up communicating, compassionate, prosperous, social, inspired, self-aware, generous. Yeah, not to hold back, considerate and virtuous. Um, so we're all to know is to grow. So we could really be spurring each other on for further growth at this time because collectively that's what's needed. Um, you could feel inspired to know is to grow. So the quality is literally is to be very growth oriented, which has been coming out repeatedly, um, to not be restrictive, um, you know, to be more generous, um, prosperous. That's the mindset, that's the qualities to hold and to have as you go forward. Generous, virtuous, knowledgeable, intelligent, and growth-oriented, and the leader. So look at this, um, what's coming out. Shine your light and get out there um, and pass that along because here I lead from the heart and that's what we're all being encouraged to do. If you see, we're all going higher and going farther and it's the leader. So this is the sun and the sun has been coming up a lot. I know Missy Lucy is going to scream when she sees, see, it says the sun. So we've been getting that over and over again, but we're all being inspired to go farther, to go higher. You're going to feel that. And besides this reading, you're just going to get that. Like I kept on saying inside and out, this motivation to go higher and farther, and you're going to be empowered from the inside out. 
And this is literally, I lead from the heart. So all of us are very growth oriented. You're leading from the heart. Um, the heart's going to literally take you places. Um, but the what they're instilling inside of you that's been coming up in readings is to remain growth oriented and everything else. But also this part about really lead, going from your heart is more than just words um you're going to be lit from the inside and it came out again in the akashic records in a few readings all the readings of late um this insurgence like everything that the world takes out of you is they're insurging you back to be literally confident brilliant purposeful courageous committed authentic positive inspiring passionate empowered it literally says empowered they're really helping us to be empowered and lead from the heart uh, it's instilling the growth, visionary, vital, integrous, trustworthy. They're giving that to you. You're going to be inspired to lead from the heart, to know is to grow, to come from that place all through June is going to be spurring on the growth. And like I said, it's going to go way past June. But so you're going to feel very inspired and infused from within to lead from the heart, to know is to grow. But it's not just for your growth, but for other people's growth. It's a very supportive, growth-oriented, pass on your knowledge, pass on your resources. Everybody work together. We're all one in a greater uh, space. And so that is the energy that um, has been coming out in all the readings. So let's get the Angels of Abundance. And you're going to feel this on the inside. And this is to spur on the growth, right? To spur on the growth. You could feel very activated to be more communicative, more generous with what you know, um, and to go from your heart here. But they're really instilling in us with this confidence, be brilliant, purposeful, courageous, committed, authentic, positive. Look, it's leading. And this is all ooh, coming out for the leader, coming from your heart, leading from your heart. Oh, we're getting a lot of angel support. Like I said, there was a lot of love support. Um backing for this so the number one card was this one then this one it is safe for you to receive organized for success and no more complaining yeah they are lighting, lighting you up to be showing up more fully in your life more empowered more courageous more brilliant more positive, more authentic. It's trumping like no more victimhood, no more complaining. You're getting organized for success, for the growth. It's safe for you to receive. So let's start off with the first one. It is safe for you to receive. And the angels want you to know the more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with others. Notice it came out from here. To know is to grow that we're sharing. They said that we're generous with our knowledge and passing it on. Yeah, the more resources you have available to share with others. Allow your yourself to receive because the more resources you have available to share with others so like I said the higher you go the more we're one right so they're giving you allow yourself to receive because you're passing it on in some way it's your it amplifies your ability to share with others we just said that the other day you can't give what you don't have um, so open your arms to receive and be a conduit for good coming to you and through you as it blesses the world that is what they're instilling in you um, so yeah whatever you're receiving in and resources and knowledge and helpfulness and that's helping you to grow you're passing that on for the growth of others um, what's keeping you brilliant what's keeping you going Going higher and farther it's all to help others so it's safe for you to receive receive because like they said your conduit allow the good to come to you and through you as it blesses the world we're all moving like a flock together here for growth um, so it is safe for you to receive 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 and pass it on basically for the growth organized for success so they could be helping you at this time do not let the word organize intimidate you as it is simply a way for you to ensure the clarity of purpose Organizing your thoughts, your reports, your living and workspace, and your finances will help you know and plan your next action steps. So they could be helping you quite literally. It's come out in different resources. Where were you wasting your time, focus, energy? This is to keep you lit. So, and going higher and farther and being growth or, or you know, so anything that was sapping your resources or you can, you can structure things. So it actually is situated better for your success. So you could feel that they're helping you to organize. I love how they even include organizing your thoughts organizing your thoughts it's like you organize your insides prioritize your insides and the outsides so the insides your thoughts having clarity of purpose organize your thoughts your reports your living and workspace your finances it will all help you know and plan your next action steps yeah they're helping you to know that because they're supporting the growth it's almost like what's 
supporting your growth. No more complaining. Talk about organizing your thoughts. They're going to instill with you that you're powerful, you're brilliant, you're lit. Um, all of this confident, brilliant, purposeful, authentic, positive, inspiring. All of this is out of the complaining mode. Um, it's talk about the importance of your divine power, right? There's no more complaining. You don't like it. You can change it. They made me uh, post a spirit message tip about that positive change um, comes out of when you feel negative. So and no more just sitting and complaining. Complaints are affirmations of victimhood, which is never true spiritually. Take back your God-given power, which they're instilling in you. Take back your God-given power. Here's the Divine Power deck. By affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom. Again, with the choices and freedom, they keep on talking about um, we can we have an abundance of choices and freedom. There's something about coming back to that or realizing that more or claiming that back. You have an abundance of choices and freedom with your increased confidence and assertiveness Watch these positive affirmations bloom into reality. And here's the bloomation. I always call it bloomation. I think I made up that word. But this is all supporting growth. With your increased confidence and assertiveness, watch these positive affirmations bloom into reality. We're getting divine love and support for blooming things in reality. Um, they're helping us to stay lit within like the sun. The sun encourages things to grow, right? Um, so on the outside, we're getting that. But on the inside, when you hold more sun, more of that divine energy, you're encouraging things to grow. So no more complaining and organize for success. And yes, as you receive, you have more to give, right? So you're encouraging the growth. You're encouraging staying lit from inside. You're encouraging, just like they said, that water can, watering your dreams and everything. Show your attention like the sun is literally what it says on that natural oracle for life. So yeah, they're having you do that. Stay lit within. Oh, talk. let's get right into divine power. They're stressing that inside, you know, that inside divine power that you don't complain because you know there are abundance of choices and freedom. You have increased confidence, assertiveness. You're blooming things into reality. It's claiming that for yourself, staying positive, organizing for success. To know is to grow. To even know that is to grow. So let's see what is in your divine power or keep in mind for June that will encourage the growth. This is all for supporting the growth, but holding that inside as you do with that, as you do things and encourage things outside of you to go as well. It's all landing on the, these cards back here. Yeah, it's holding that within as you do things. To encourage, this is to encourage the growth. I might even name it that, encourage the growth inside and out. Um, here we have, yes, you have divine power to be positively charged. There is an emphasis on the sun and holding that sun within you so you remain positively charged. Easier said than done. I know these are just cards, but I always talk about the gravity and negativity of the world. You can go sink into complaining. You can be overwhelmed and unorganized. You can feel like um, you, you're not receiving. You don't want, you know, it's be open to receive. It's safe for you to receive everything. It's safe for you to feel confident and positive. Um, Organized for success, no more complaining, abundant of choices and freedom. You have divine power to be positively charged no matter what. And that's what they're instilling in you to hold that sun within. So you remain, as you go forward, encouraging growth for yourself and others. You remain confident. You remain brilliant. You remain purposeful. You remain courageous. You remain committed. You remain authentic. You remain positive. You remain inspiring. You remain passionate. You remain empowered, positively charged. You remain visionary. You remain vital. You remain, I don't know what this word is, integrious, integrious. My eyesight's going integrious and trustworthy. That's all incorporating that and holding that and staying lit. You have divine power to be positively charged. So that is what they are supporting you with, to remain positively charged almost like no matter what. No more complaining, organize for success, receive, receive, and pass it on because we're encouraging the growth, and to encourage the growth for yourself and others. So let's talk about growth. Let's talk about real divine abundance and what are the spirit messages when it comes to real divine abundance in all forms to hold it in our hearts to remain positively charged as we encourage the growth right away they're encouraging the growth so you see it's landing right on that as well so this is all to encourage the growth but for you to hold that for yourself as you're actually doing things on the outside so, you know what i'm saying to stay, I leave from the heart, to stay filled with the sun, to stay filled positively charged as you go. Um, no more complaining, organizing for success. This last one, what was that last one? Yeah, 
they're helping you with divine ideas and wisdom. You can always think of something to do right now that will spur you on to go further and higher. What did they keep on saying? We're going higher and farther. So they were saying you can always think of something to do right now that will spur you on to go further and higher. They are supporting your abundance to stay positively charged. And remember, you can go higher and farther um, for the growth. They are helping you to know that as you go. Literally what I kept on saying, these birds going higher and farther, it's literally on the card, spur you on to go further and higher. That is the energy that they're doing right now to, to encourage this growth. You can go farther, you can go higher. Um, they're gonna help you um, think of those things. Things will drop in to help you probably stop complaining, organize more for success, receive more. Uh, so you stay positively charged and go further and higher further and higher so yeah to help you surround yourself with positive beautiful inspiring people sights and experiences to uplift you now to encourage going further and higher make sure that you're supporting yourself with things that are actually uh also supporting you here because they're giving you that divine support to feel that but then uh, in the physical that's part of your choices to organize organize your thoughts your living workspace um Organize things to ensure that you're growing further and higher. You surround yourself with beautiful, positive, inspiring people, sights and experiences that uplift and keep you in that energy as well. So they're, they're, t they're reminding you and giving you that support, the wind beneath your wings to go further and higher. But then also make sure you're surrounding yourself on the daily. Just like I have work to do, but I was like, let me do this reading. It's being proactive about that. Yeah, clear out the old for new opportunities to appear. We've been getting that over and over over again that you're going to welcome this is for creating the new so yeah i mean welcome in the new and explore more options and how to go even farther yes explore more options on how to go even farther so this is all to go farther and further and growth oriented this is all for encouraging growth inside and out um so let's get the divine spirit messages to tie this all in but it's saying explore more options how to go even further so they're saying you can always think of something that's going to spur you on to go further and higher surround yourself with people and places situations that are spurring this on for growth I clear out the old for the new and explore even more options on how to go even farther you can, and they're supporting you the divine is supporting you to stay positively charged so this is like going farther growth oriented, all of that to help you. They're suggesting, you know, it's safe for you to receive now because you're going to pour it out. They literally said you're a conduit. So accept everything coming in that's under your wings propelling this. And you're like, Albert, you're bringing people with you, you know? So, I mean, and then organize for success because before it was coming up over and over, sometimes we waste our time, our energy, our attention, and the world is very loud. It's very noisy. You can get distracted. It's like remain positively charged and organized. They're going to help you organize your thoughts, your reports, your finances to support like soil, support the growth. And no more complaining because that's victimhood and it's not true. It's not even spiritual and it will not keep you positively charged because then you're saying you're a victim. You're not going anywhere. You're not going higher and farther. So that's saying something that's just not true. And they're going to show you that because it just affirms victimhood. It's never true spiritually. Take back your God-given power. Here's the sun taking back your God-given power, affirming you have abundance of choices and freedom. And with your increased confidence and assertiveness, watch it bloom into reality. Watch it bloom. It's growing and watch it bloom. So that's why they're keeping you with the sun so much. Let's see um, divine spirit messages to tie this all in, to support us, to hold that sun, keep going, encourage the growth, organize for success, no more complaining, stay positively charged. They're going higher and farther farther and higher, farther and higher, new opportunities to greet you, to keep surrounding yourself with positive, uplifting, yeah, you can surrender it now, it went right under, you. it's safe to receive, you can surrender it now, allow yourself to receive, allow yourself to receive, you are going to surprise yourself, you're going to surprise yourself what you're growing now, and know you are supported in this moment, there is a lot of here, divine power to be positively charged they're really supporting you came out in the akashic records reading the level of divine love support um know you are supported we had the support card come out before so you really are supported to stay positively charged to lead from your heart to encourage the growth 
they're helping you with no more complaining organize um, to receive more of that support and pass it on encouraging the growth for all you're going to surprise yourself with how farther and higher and what you're growing um, you can surrender right now release the old for new to appear is what they were saying before i want to get a couple more divine spirit messages you can surrender it now also about the complaining uh you're going to surprise yourself with what you're growing, what you're going to be blossoming in your life. You know, you're supported in this moment. Right here, you're never alone. They said, keep going. And look at that. You are never alone. That's what wants to be. And that is the key. You're supported. You're never alone with what you're trying to grow in your life. Um, that's what they want to know. I have chills everywhere. I have chills everywhere. I really almost can continue. Um... You're never alone. You're supported in this moment. You're going to surprise yourself. They're really working with you. Like, no more complaining. Sometimes we sink in the patterns of discouragement and you know, all that. But if they're instilling in you the sun. You're never alone. Um, to fly on, fly farther for what you're growing and blossoming. You are going to fall, uh, surprise yourself. Make sure in the environment you're supporting, um, you know, supportive energies with this too. It's very easy to fall in the complaining and have people to complain with you um, or people to distract you they want you organized and very like they said confident inspired brilliant purposeful courageous vital authentic positive trustworthy um you know and, and going this way and feeling that as it's so to encourage the growth and pass it on because you're going to be receiving and passing it on it's all for growth supporting your growth what you're growing and everybody's growth so let's get the um pure love from spirit which i feel like this all is Ooh. But all these readings and messages are tying in. It's like an ongoing conversation. Number one card. We are always here for you. That's what they want. That's why I had such chills when I got this card. I'm going to tear up. No, you're always you're supported in this moment. You are never alone. We're always here for you. And you're going to feel that. You're going to feel that support. You know what I call divine partners. So as you're trying to grow things and go farther and higher and everything else, to feel that really on the inside besides this reading, but on the daily when you're doing things for growth, for yourself, for others, um, you're never alone. You are supported, but we are always here for you. And that was the level of when this card came out, this one card. And I said, I don't think I can continue because I couldn't see the cards anymore. Felt like I got smacked in the face. My eyes were tearing up so much. We're always here for you. So you're going to feel that almost like the wind beneath your wings. See how I had said that? The wind beneath your wings. You're never alone. We're always here for you. They're going to keep you positively charged because you have to go farther and higher now to encourage the growth, encourage other people's growth. You're kind of like a conduit in the big and the small and your personal just showing up in your energy with what you're doing you're being used in that way right look at the things behind you so it's all supporting farther and higher growth oriented stay positive no more complaining they're getting you organized for success some things are leaving new things will be coming in uh, clear out the old for new opportunities to appear. This is all about exploring even more options to go even farther. You can always think of something to do right now that will spur you on to go farther and higher. And in the physical, surround yourself with people who are supporting that energy. That's part of the organization, right? Yeah. You are never alone. We are always here for you. I wish you the best with your abundance in all forms. This has been the Real Divine Abundance reading for the month of June. Take care. Bye-bye.